Gas prices are expected to remain at or near record highs for weeks or even months. So how do you improve your vehicle's fuel efficiency? I asked an expert at BCAA. Uh, you know, don't hammer the gas, you know, from a stop to a go uh, or, or constantly, you know, touch the brakes. Tailgating creates a scenario where you're on the gas slowing down, on the gas slowing down in order to maintain a very short distance. You know, that, that consumes fuel. Check that your tires are properly inflated. That can make a difference in fuel efficiency. Um, this boils down to friction. Uh, the less air in the tire, the more power we need to get past and, and get the, veal, the wheels rolling. Um, you know, on the other side of the coin, some people believe, oh, if I add an extra five pounds, we're going to get better mileage. That is not the case. What little bit you will save by putting extra air in your tire, you're going to end up paying more for prematurely worn tires. I also asked him about hypermiling. That's the practice where some people go to extremes to improve their fuel efficiency. They do things like planning out their route in advance to make sure it has the least stops and starts or traveling only on off peak hours. Um, and, and, you know, by all means, anybody that's listening, take a look at it. There's some great information, but I can sum this up for you in a nutshell. Drive respectfully to your vehicle and for the people around you. You know, don't speed around from light to light. Don't hammer on your brakes, you know. Um, drive like granny would drive, with a little extra shoulder check. You also might want to rethink that quick trip to the store because those short trips burn a lot of gas. Instead, consider walking, biking, or working it into your regular commute. In Kelowna, Cindy White, Castanet.